So Tara is out this week for her honeymoon, but Luke from Rock is happy to fill in. Well, happy is maybe stretching it a bit. We'll find out how this goes. Well, ask me in the 30 minutes if I'm happy. How's that sound? How's that? Uh, very. Hi, Grady. Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to come here? So, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've had another week. And as we speak right now, um, cryptocurrency <laughs> is, is completely crashing through the floor. Calling, saying that it's tanked is being generous and polite. That, I was, it's shocking. I was out Sunday at, at my makerspace working with the laser cutter. And when I got home, I hadn't been on computer like all day. And I got home and I looked and I'm like, Ma, Ma, come quick. Crypto fell down the stairs, Ma. Ma, call the ambulance. <laughs> stairs? That's off a cliff, sir. <laughs> That's a full on Wile E. Coyote cliff. Um, you'll get a kick out of this, too, because mm. you're probably about as fond as this company as I am. You know who is getting into the cryptocurrency and NFT, and, and NFT market this year? Oh, who now? GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Not only have they spent a massive amount of money on technology experts to help build the online platform on their website to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency and NFTs, but they're also going to make it for different ones to come into the store eventually in case they need help. As in, oh, would you like to have your NFT sold? Well, this assistant can help you put it on our network. Yeah, they're going to tell them that NFT is worth about a dollar. Someone was willing to buy for me for 20 bucks, $1 or or, or 150 in store credit. (laughs) But yeah, GameStop. So, (sighs) all right. Well, that underway, let's get my intro rolling because we do have the nonsense. Yay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's not so bad. I would like to say this, though. Last time I was on. There was a poo story at the very end. However, I cannot fault you for that one too much because that story had everything. Oh, yes, it, was like it, a bing- it was like a bingo checklist. So I can't be too mad about that one considering how much else there was. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to give you some spoilers right now, Luke. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going I'm to double check. Um, yes. Please. We do not Please. have Please. a single... Say okay. We don't have a single poop story this week. Yes! <laughs> however, Woo! however... Wait to the last one. Uh, yeah. Cautiously you, optimistic. You might have wished it was a poop story. Uh, All right. Let's, uh, I, I wished for poop, Nash. I don't think that phrase is coming out of my mouth. Uh, let's get the intro going. And, and two. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air Alliance go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck Pop Did. And um, we're going to start off, of course, in Florida, because of course uh, it is. I'll send these to you over, on, I'll message you on Twitter with these. Like you, you got it. All right. Um, You know how many years I've spent in Florida? It still finds a way to chase me. Yeah, it's 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 the devil. All right, computer, <laughs> computer, computer. Hello, computer. Come on. I just want. Can I move this? Way? Oh my god! I cannot wait to upgrade this damn thing. You. What do you want to do with that window? You want to shrink it down? All right. Well, I'm gonna take ten seconds before I'm gonna let you have the arrow key there. Your sentient computer heard Florida and said, the heck you are putting that on my hard drive. Oh my, it doesn't get a choice. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. All right. Um, hey, baseball jersey. Hey. We're starting in Florida this week with... Um, All right. The, the 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 headline, of course, here is Florida deputies borrow boat to arrest man on stolen jet ski. But when we get to the the the, that's not the kicker here. That's enough, though. But no, Nash, that is enough. Yo, know, because first, of course, you you start with the excuse me, I have to commandeer your boat to, to stop that man on a jet ski. So uh-huh. we're already into farce 
to begin yeah. with. Yeah. But there's more to it. Uh, because, let's see. Um, deputies in Volusia County arrested a suspect for theft after he allegedly stole a jet ski on Sunday afternoon. Authority said Ronald Williams, 48, stole the jet ski and, unable to get it started, floated away on it. So okay. you could have just swam and caught up to it. Well, family getting ready to head on their boat, let deputies uh, borrow it to catch Williams, who was floating in the intracoastal waterway. Uh, Videos show deputies approaching Williams with a gun drawn <laughs> and telling him to put his hands up. Deputies ordered Williams to swim to the boat. You got you hit it. But he said he didn't know how to swim. Oh, hey, maybe he was lying, but that's a smart tactic to the cop. What are you going to The cop can't say that. Oh, well, well all right. <laughs> one of two things just happened there. Either he's lying to the police. Right. Who have a gun on him. <laughs> and I promise you at this point in time, that they're not happy about dealing with this. Yeah. Bullshit. Um, either that, either lying to the police or. Um, he, he stole the jet ski without being able to swim. I lean towards the former because if I didn't know, I'm not even a good swimmer. If I didn't know how to swim at all, though, and someone pointed a gun at me to start swimming, I'm going to learn how to dog paddle like that. You better. Be, I'm not expecting Michael Phelps. I'm just saying dog paddle to the coast. That's why I'm thinking something's up. I just love this dude like, oh, I'm going to steal this jet ski and, and just couldn't get it started and just <laughs> drifted away. He's like rocking uh, like back and forth to get it go a little farther. Oh, just off into the afternoon sunset. Mm. <laughs> like this feels like a Charlie Day scheme on It's Always Sunny. It really does. Like they, they didn't even really have to row very hard to catch up with him. It was like, oh, we'll get no! it. In a minute. And he's just waiting there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tossed a rope. Adorable. This next one is <sighs> You thought you were slick is what this next one is. This is from Washington. <laughs> I forget what was the show that had it, it just it might have been It's Always Sunny. Uh, they keep describing like we have this idea. We're going to do this, this, this. That's insurance fraud. No, but it's not because we're doing this, this, this. St still, still insurance fraud. I feel like that could have been us always sunny. So many TVs, or shows, and sitcoms that had the insurance fraud scam. Well, this so, time, so. It, this actually is insurance fraud. Man insures car twenty six minutes <laughs> after crash. Womp. <laughs> I think you're you're failing to grasp the concept of insurance. Washington is yeah. uh, charged with insurance fraud after he was accused of adding a car to his insurance policy shortly after getting into an accident. Uh, that grand man was charged with false claims and proof, false claims or proof and attempted theft. Uh, he said he was char involved in a two vehicle crash in April 2019. His car wasn't insured hey. at the time. The man added his 2004 Nissan to the existing policy <laughs> without telling his insurance company. Even when the accident, Progressive denied the man's claim for $3,700 and reported it to the State Insurance Commission. Yeah. Um, you see, what happens when, when, when officers respond to a crash, they write down the time. Yep. That's not, and that's not a new thing either. That, it's been that way for a very long time. And also, you know who does talk very back and forth with the insurance company, the police they to do. go back and forth to prove it's really easy. Also, this is unrelated to the story. Pretty much for $3,700 in damages on a 2004 Nissan that's total in 20 in 2019. Yeah, that's total. That's beyond. Yeah, that's the worth of the car at that point. Yeah, that's that's over. That's just <laughs> of course, like right now, trying to get a car, you, you take like a potato wagon you take like a a, a, a red rider oh, yeah. with a with a lawnmower engine strapped to the back and three wheels yeah yeah hmm okay the, huh? it does it does run okay but it's just uh, i 
<laughs> Can you oh imagine him trying to call back? I'm, and also, um, those insurance companies like to pretend they're all nice and friendly on the commercials. Yeah. I assure you, they are not that kind when they are owed money. No. I mean, Ugh. did he did he try to claim he traveled in time? <laughs> not in that Nissan. No, for a Nissan in 2019. Uh, 26 minutes. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm assuming he was okay to yeah. have that speed. Yeah. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> Oh, now we get some ugly Americans. All right. A few weeks ago, we didn't feature this just because there were so many other things going on. But the steps in Rome, uh, the mm-hmm. Rome St- Spanish steps, dude drove a fucking Maserati down them. And it's like it's, it's a historical landmark. Yeah. Well, now <laughs> not everyone can afford a Maserati. So right. if you want to damage a historic landmark and you can't afford a sports car. Rent a scooter. U.S. tourist throws scooter town robe Spanish steps, causing 25,000 euros in damage. That's euros. That's actually more than dollars. That's more than the dollar. Yeah. That's over 30,000 in U.S. American tourists has caused 25,000 euros worth of damage after hurling her her electric scooter down Rome Spanish steps. It's it was filmed by a passerby. The early hours right oh oh good we have video i didn't realize we got video let's have let's have a look here let's oh, uh let's experience this to. together there you go okay oh, and... well the one guy's walking walking it down i don't like that either but he's oh. she says fuck it this date sucks <laughs> Pair were also banned from returning to the famous mon- monument. Yeah, you think? Uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that underwent a 1.5 million euro trading stop uh, restoration in 2015. Come here, come here. Oh, it's Brady. If you weeks. were riding a scooter, would you just hurl it down a flight of stairs? No, you wouldn't. You know how to behave. He really uh. doesn't. As I was talking. <laughs> He was chewing on a plastic bag as I was talking, and I'm like, "Don't do that." You're- that's not well. That's not f- over forty thousand dollars worth of damage chewing. No. Well, no, it depends. Uh, if he swallows it, it could be. Yeah. Well, because he's 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 an idiot like that. Oh. <laughs> People were banned from sitting on the Spanish Steps in 2018. Yeah. But we can walk our scooters down it. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that either. No. Uh, 18th century. Oh, <laughs> oh you gr- he's grumbling and purring at the same time. Just <laughs> spoiled beast. No, I just how when I go- <laughs> at first I thought like, oh, maybe she lost maybe she lost um grip of it or something no. and it kicked on. <laughs> no, she she guided it and threw it down. Like I've I haven't traveled extensively in the world, but I have gone out of the country a couple times. And when I've gone to places of historic relevance, I've kind of great. I know. Okay. Brady I've, heard you might be going out of the country, and he's like, No, you aren't. <laughs> I <laughs> he screwed her. Oh, that's funny. I I just <laughs> nice. I uh. I it never occurred to me, you know. I was I was at the I was in London and there's that bronze Paddington bear statue. Never occurred to right. me to just go up and knock the fucker over because I have some, no. you know, some appreciation you want, for where I am and what I'm doing. Oh, you wouldn't just climb on top of him and start stamping as hard as you could? You no. wouldn't do that? No. <sighs> and it also says they're not from there either. Mm-mm. Yeah, tourists. Uh tourist uh-huh. tourists do that. I mean, I live yeah, I've lived most of my life. Uh, let's see, I've lived in Savannah, I lived in Charleston. I was born in Charleston. I've lived in places with high tourist counts right. and folks. I, I, you, we grow up with an internal loathing of all <laughs> things tourist. We I have, don't know. We have no time for their shit. <laughs> that lady had no time for that scooter. She was done. Uh, all right, so got some. This this is. I don't know what's with people stealing things this week because this one is incredibly stupid. 
like super duper stupid. I that is saying something, <laughs> everyone. Um, he does know the range of what he's seen. Uh, Have you ever gone through like a store and seen they've got expensive merchandise out and this display, and and parts of it are gone? Yes. And the joke is there that what you've stolen in the display is probably a dummy. And is right. like like the electric toothbrushes in Walmart. That's one that's there ho- all the time. They're hollowed out. They're yeah. ho- they don't, but people steal them. Best Buy is the same with all their bottles and stuff too. Yeah. So this one is same same energy, only oh good god, who stole what? Uh, or well, stole? I don't know. Did they? Did they really? Uh, three men rob liquor store in Northwest Houston, not realizing the bottle is only a decoy. How do you not know when you pick it up? Houston police in search of three suspects who were caught on video robbing a liquor store in Northwest Houston. They thought they took a very expensive bottle. Little do they know they got away with a decoy. Monday Ugh. around 2 p.m., three men entered a liquor store at the 2800 block of Katy Freeway. The men inquired about a $4,200 bottle of liquor. That was locked in a display case. That's your first. No one leaves four thousand dollars just sitting there. A handheld four thousand dollars just. Eh. That's going to uh, say employee unlocked the display case and pulled out the bottle of liquor. One of the men then forcibly grabbed the bottle and ran out of the store. Meanwhile, a second suspect reached into the display case and removed another box of the same liquor which he dropped as he ran out of the store, realizing the box was empty. The employee told investigators the suspects got away with a decoy bottle and not the actual liquor bottle of $4,200. Uh, I just of- watched the video. <clears throat> not only are all three of them on camera, mm-hmm. face is plain as day. No masks. No which- masks. <laughs> this little store clerk like caught in the middle of them as they're running around her. I go back to my previous statement. How did they not know when he held it? And I want to, it is a time, one of the times in history you can always get away with wearing a mask. It, it's, it, you could um, completely get away. No one will think anything of it if you walk into a store with no. a mask right now. No one will make you take it off. No, no one. one will make you take it off. It, it's perfectly normal now. But no. No, no, you're just going to go and get caught they, on camera. They strutted in. I'm looking at the video right now, too. Oh, that's not, not working because I've got some. I've had, I have no, to you're keep, fine. You're fine. Yeah. Um, man. <laughs> I just. Ha- it's... So now you're going to go no to jail I, and, yeah. for stealing like nothing. And you got nothing out of it except no. your faces. Clear on their cameras. Here's a funny Clear. part. Crime Stoppers contact Crime Stoppers if have information regarding uh, related to this investigation. Information linked to a charge or arrest of any felony suspects may result in a cash payment up to five thousand dollars. So, someone who turns these people in could use that money to buy the real. Could bottle. go buy the actual fucking bottle of that. and then visit them in jail. And say, look what you bought me, boys. Thank you. <laughs> Drink it right in front of them. Have a shot uh, with the cops and the rest of them. Just really rub it in their faces. Uh, what the hell kind of booze is forty? I mean, I can see a bottle. Of I was wine thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was getting like some very vintage, classy bottle of wine, but that wouldn't be sold in a store like that either, though. No, it wouldn't have a and box it, involved either. Yeah, exactly. So, man, regardless, <laughs> I hope uh, they're gonna get caught. That's the bummer thing too. Yeah. Well, is that a bummer? Uh, they deserve it. <laughs> They deserve it. I'm just saying they're going to get caught and then they're going to have on their record. Yeah. Grand theft for a plastic fake dummy bottle. Yeah. That's how it's still charge. Yeah. yeah. Because you didn't know it was fake. You still right. your, your intention was to steal. The, so it's not like you get like a get out of jail free. No. If it turns out you stole. No, no, you're fucked. No, you're still charged. OK, uh, um, we have more. We always have. There's always more. Um, oh yeah, speaking of liquor today, just I uh, crash retweeted it. Did you see 
where Coke and Jack Daniels. Yes, in the same can. And I'm like, wow, for, finally, <laughs> for all the people too stupid to pour a shot of Jack into a can in a of Coke. In the same glass. Yeah. At I don't have time last. for that, Nash. Nash, I don't have time. I have to drive somewhere. <laughs> and I only have one cup holder in the car. Ugh. Uh, that was Coca-Cola's two-year plan during pandemic when no one could work. That's what they thought of. Mm. Uh, it's going to sell. Uh, we both laugh. It's going to sell. People will buy that. Um... Have you ever heard a song by Ray Stevens called the Mississippi Squirrel Revival? That sounds familiar. Just the title sounds familiar. It, it, is, it is a tale of great woe about, about a squirrel okay. that attacks a church revival. <laughs> hmm. And that was the first thing, that song was the first thing I thought about when I got to the story because not because there was a squirrel involved, but same energy. I, I, I feel same energy here. Wanted man climbs through ceiling, drops down shirtless into church service. Did the single old lady in the front row go, my prayers have been answered. Hallelujah. <laughs> a wanted Spotsylvania man climbed through a beauty salon ceiling crawl space Saturday and drop down shirtless into an ongoing church service in an effort to avoid arrest. They huh. say they were called to a shopping complex uh, Saturday for, for a wanted person. The Emergency Communications Center had received a tip that Troy Longwell, 52, was at a beauty shop at the complex and had active warrants. Tip also indicated Longwell would run and hide. Deputies, deputies confirmed Longwell was wanted. Can I not say we're wanted in four different jurisdictions? Difference. So this guy's been on the run for a bit. The business He's been running shirtless for a bit. <laughs> business owner consented for deputies to check the beauty salon, and the hide and seek began, Ugh. where deputies quickly discovered a ceiling tile out of place and a human leg in the crawl space oh. of the ceiling. I was going to say, good for that detective to notice a uh, uh, tile out of place. That's pretty good with a leg stake out of it. Oh, oh never that's... mind. You don't get points for being <laughs> Encyclopedia Brown there. Sorry. Commands were given to surrender, but the leg disappeared in the crawl space toward a connected <laughs> business. Deputies rushed to the church occupying the next suite with the service in progress. Longwell, shirtless and out of breath, was detained in the sanctuary in the middle of the service. Investigators reveal Long Whale had climbed into the serving service, uh, climbed into the ceiling when deputies arrived at the business, crawled through the ceiling and dropped into the room behind the sanctuary next door before walking into the active service. So yes, this is yes, this is what I wanted. I want him to make a grand entrance and walk into it. <laughs> Do you feel the Lord coming into your life today? And just walking right in. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm the Lord. Everybody keep quiet. <laughs> That, that is that mug shot. I've got, I've got I know. I was wondering the same thing too, man. That that is a you can tell that 52 year old has seen some stuff. That's just the look on his face is like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> My wife is gonna kill me. I went to MIT for Christ's sake. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> I had a 401k at one point. Everyone had a 401k at one point. <laughs> oh, so this is what drove him over. Okay. I, I get, okay, that's one warrant then, but still, this guy was in four counties or whatever it was, four jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. This guy, again, this guy's been on the run then for, for a little bit. Okay, Luke, we, we've gotten to the story um, that I was talking oh, about. We can't, can we, we can't delay it and talk about the shirtless church wonder? Nope. <laughs> oh. I, I'm going to show you, a, I'm going to show you such sights. Um, I just want you to picture you're driving down the highway. It's a nice afternoon. Okay. And then all of a suddenly in the middle of the road with no warning. Behold. <laughs> oh, oh, the image. 
That's what I'm saying. Oh, even the animals wouldn't touch that. The now, animals for those, would probably go, no. For those of you listening to the MP3 right now, you're like, what? What? What's he talking about? I want to describe this for you. Have you ever seen the animated movie Akira? Do, do you remember the, the climax of Akira where Canada is just blursting out of control? Just this ball of flesh growing and, and collapsing in on itself. That's what we're looking at here because faulty brakes cause a truck to spill 15,000 pounds of hot dog filler across the road. It's so much. It's ev it's everywhere. You can smell that picture. Oh yeah, and that does not smell like the nice ballpark hot dogs you get at the at the at Bush Stadium, folks. Not a chance. The hot dog filler that's cold. Uh, uh, like it, it's it looks like the exact same slot. It, by the way, I'm not using making this up. In the article, it says the pink slime. Yes. Um, like if you ever seen how McNuggets are made, it's pretty much the same slime for that filler part too. And I, 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 I don't know. I guess I just figured those bags and the and the boxes they're in would be a little more hefty, a little stronger. Uh, how how did it? How did it all just? Uh. Uh, police report authority said the tractor trailer was quote traveling at a high rate of speed. So you were just screaming down the highway with 15 tons or not 15,000 pounds of hot dog filler, which I, I, I'm pretty sure right now, everyone, especially if you're not in the United States, is hearing the term hot dog filler filler baffled. We, we just like <laughs> what is hot? Well, dog? So just that's just hot dog meat, right? Crash. That's just beef or pork, right? No, there is no animal substance in any of that. Not one. <laughs> At the time, the operator of the vehicle began to lose control of the vehicle. The action then caused the vehicle to exit the roadway and travel through the soft shoulder. Um, then the cab of the truck was impaled by several trees. The guy's alive, which is amazing. Good. Was, uh, the load uh, became dislodged, causing 15,000 15, pounds of hot dog filler to catapult onto the roadway the wording is perfect it just it, it looks like you see the trail it looks like it was trying to escape it does it's like trying to like roll out like slowly <laughs> like muck one of the pokemon just like kind of like gradually going along i'm more thinking uh go ahead go ahead Did you ever see this whole futurama tales of interest okay and the one where where bender wished he was human i think i do remember that episode yeah and at the end, he was just like, they had the to roll. Blob. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm just more thinking now, because you set me up back. Just imagine you're driving down the highway on the afternoon, and I look out to my left, pink slime catapulted, and a lot of it's right next to me. Freedom. Oh. <laughs> it, oh. Ugh. I'm I'm I don't think I'm gonna have hot dogs again. I really don't. I, I don't know. You got if it says all beef, even then I'm still questioning. Yeah, because all beef technically. Yeah. I mean, technically. You can grind up like, you know, the trachea and it's still beef. The hoofs can still legally qualify because it's from the cow. Technically. It's 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 beef. I assure you, no cows are in any of that side of the highway. Spillage? Is that appropriate? No. Accidents? Yeah. I just, I can't has, imagine driving by this and just trying to figure out what you were looking what at. What it is. Yeah, what it is. I would be, because, I'd, I'd be calling like, you know, the National Guard or some shit. <laughs> That's a fucking oh, horror uh, movie right there. I was going to say, wasn't it Ghostbusters 2 where the slime comes out yeah. of the sewers and that yeah. river of pink sludge? Yep. I, there you go. That, that really is the <laughs> souls of the undead trying to get out on the road. What's making it worse is it's got like folds. Is it does. The thing. 
And it's not, and it's also like you can see the ripplage in the bigger. front, and it's spilling out of yeah. back still. Like it's still trying to escape. Yeah, let's make it almost. bigger. Yeah, it's got it's got like it's <laughs> oh yeah, Vash. Make it bigger. Make sure everyone sees. <laughs> it's got love handles for Christ's sake. <laughs> The, that's a lot that's a lot more than love handles the, oh, i don't even the, the hot dog filler uh, has you know the, it, I, I can honestly say that is more than any house insulation in my entire house because it's pink <laughs> you know way more way more i don't think you can insulate your house with hot dog filler loop i don't think that would work <laughs> But it's free. It's on the side of the road. I just can't leave it there. I got to do something. So uh, I guess the first thing we learned this week is uh, a whole bunch of people are never eating hot dogs again. After that. That's gas station hot dogs right yeah. there. All those quick trips are never getting those hot dogs now. Mm-mm-mm. I will confess, I am, I am a bit of a connoisseur of, of terrible gas station food. I am the only person you know who will admit to eating a gas station egg salad sandwich. Wow. Willingly. That's actually sounds somewhat brave. <laughs> um, Commendable. We've learned that even, even in the house of the Lord, you're not safe from fucking people falling out of the fucking ceiling. Nope. <laughs> and be careful what you pray for. You might get in. It might be a horrifying. Um, we've learned that if you're going to do a crime, maybe find out what you're going to steal is actually the thing you want to steal. And also understand that store models have existed since stores have existed. <laughs> they, don't, they, they don't leave the real shit out where you can grab it. No one does. No one ever would. Uh. <laughs> um, we've learned that. Get... <laughs> we've learned if you've got to be, che- if you've, if you've got to be cheap, you can't afford a sports car, just throw a scooter. That'll work. Yeah. If you want to wreck a landmark. Um, we've learned that insurance is the before thing. Yeah. Not the after thing. If you get it before, that will help you. If you get it after, that's a felony. Yeah. You can't just yell oops and then hope the insurance person will help backdate it. Control Z, control Z, undo, undo. Undo it. it. (sighs) And finally, we've learned that maybe if you're going to steal something a, a water vehicle it would behoove you to figure out how the fuck to doggy paddle yeah just don't even have to put in like you don't have to be no michael phelps shit no just just learn how to just point yourself and go or just a float just learn how to float in your own bathtub sir if you get that that might even help you <sighs> there was a lot of dumb theft Outside of that last one, and no one's stealing that ever. I mean, that's gonna no. They're not even gonna clean it up. Probably that's just gonna sit there and rot and desecrate that side of the road. Be a little monument to it. No one's going near that. I can you imagine the smell? I know. And after a while, after the sun gets on it, you know, after a couple hours, because if that's a multi-hour project too. Ugh. Ugh. That egg salad sandwich from the gas station you got is sounding a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, it's it's so much. It's just so much. It's like willful cellulite. 